Game streaming is pretty big business these days, whether you're a professional esports gamer or just kind of, you know, an average Joe at home trying to, you know, maybe stream out your games to your friends and family and who knows, maybe even get on that ladder and make a little bit of money from it. There's also no shortage of hardware to pick from either, with brands like Elgato and Avamedia already having competitive products to choose from, even for the entry level. Now Razer are throwing their hat into the ring with the Ripsaw HD. I'm not actually sure where they came up with the name, it kind of sounds like they're trying a bit hard with, you know, Ripsaw. Maybe they kind of said to the person that it has to be sharp and edgy and, well, they took it a bit too literally. The Ripsaw HD does exactly what you'd expect it to. It records 1080p, 60fps, and you can basically live stream this through your platform of choice. Of course, you can also use it as a recording device and capture that footage directly to a file or into your supported video editor. What option is best for you? Well, that's for you to decide, as everyone has their own individual style. Sure, PC gamers can use GeForce Experience or similar, but using an external device means lower latency. Plus, if you use two PCs, one to capture and one to game, you're drastically reducing the system overhead, so there are definitely benefits for PC gamers. The actual device itself is pretty compact, and I can hold it in just one hand. It's not overly heavy, but it is weighted just enough that it doesn't slide around on your desktop. There's also this kind of rubber matting on the underside, which is really nice again, so it doesn't slip around. On the top, there's a glossy Razer logo, and unlike most gaming devices these days, it's not laden with RGB lights either, which I actually do quite like about this. As we know, Razer are pretty prolific when it comes to RGB. There's a simple front panel with a green LED power indicator, and most importantly though, two audio jacks. The Ripsaw HD offers full audio mixing, so you don't have to have multiple inputs and capture devices. You just plug in your microphone, plug in your headphones, and basically, you're good to go. On the back of the device, you'll find three more ports. There's a USB Type-C input, which is what you'll use to connect your computer or laptop, and there's a HDMI in and HDMI out. Now what's important here is while the Ripsaw HD can record 1080p 60fps, it actually has a pass through that gives you the ability to use it up to 4K 60. So that means you can still game on your high end monitor as normal and you don't have to drop your resolution just to match the recording. Because it's USB, you don't need any additional power cable either. However, Razer does include this lovely USB cable as well as an audio cable and HDMI cable all inside the box. That means you don't have to muck around buying extra bits for it, it's basically all here and ready to rock. Now when you power it up, you'll want to install the Razer Synapse software if you haven't already got it. That's a simple enough process and will give you all of the drivers you need in one simple interface. Now while you can use this for PC and Razer are typically a kind of PC based brand, you can actually use this for any device that has HDMI. So this could be a PS4, Xbox One, or even a Nintendo Switch. The possibilities with that really are, well, endless. Not endless really, it's just every console. If you are using it with your PC, bear in mind you absolutely do need the USB connected to it to live stream or capture. So it's definitely worth keeping that in mind. So now that we've kind of, you know, looked through the device itself and sort of gone through, you know, some of the main features, I guess really it all comes down to how good the actual capturing looks. So I guess, yeah, we should have a look at me playing some Apex Legends. Roll the montage.
as you can see, the footage actually looks really, really good, considering that we were running this on a RTX 2080 from MSI and an i9-9900K. But what you actually find is even though um, the way that it records 1080p 60fps, we're actually kind of, you know, running everything at 4K. It's then getting scaled down to 1080p 60, but then for the purposes of this video, because we're recording all this A-roll in 4K, we're stretching it back out to 4K. And it still looks absolutely fantastic. So it just goes to show that kind of, you know, with the scaling going from 1080p to 4K, it doesn't really make a difference. You can stretch it up and it still looks absolutely fantastic. Now, I guess the main kind of key point with this comparing it to other brands is going to come down to pricing. So at $169.99 in the UK, it is one of the most affordable capture cards with these specifications. Now, Razer did market it as the most affordable, but El Gato actually sniped them by dropping the price by 30 quid the day before it launched. So El Gato are now technically £10 cheaper. Now also looking around, I think Ava Media have done something very, very similar. Now one of the kind of key differences that you will find between all three kind of, you know, different brands and the products that they have out on the market is, well, this one, I guess in the grand scheme of things, is kind of the plain Jane. When you look at kind of the Ava Media one, it is red and black. That's only going to appeal to a certain amount of people who maybe have that kind of, you know, color scheme going on. This is just pure black. It doesn't have loads of RGB lights or anything on it. So it's going to tie in with any system really, really nicely. The other thing that this kind of has going for it is all down to the audio mixing. As far as I'm kind of, you know, aware, this is the only one that actually has the audio mixing throughput. So, you know, that's definitely something worth considering. Other than that, I mean, Razer, they don't really get any complaints from me. This device sets out to do exactly what it's meant to. It's a good, affordable price. It feels solid and it just works. What more could you want? Let me know. Are you a fan of Razer? Do you, you know, do capturing and live streaming yourself? If you do, is this the sort of thing that, you know, would help you do exactly that? Maybe, you know, you'll become the next kind of big Twitch streamer out there. So there you have it. Let me know in the comments section below. Are you a Twitch streamer yourself? Do you record any of your gameplay footage? Is this the sort of device that would help you do that and obviously reduce lag along the way? It is pretty much plug and play. Yes, you need a little bit of software and some people maybe aren't going to like that. But if you were doing it without a capture device, you'd need software like GeForce Experience anyway. And that's just going to add to the likes of, you know, having lags and lag and uh, latency issues. So I really don't have any complaints with this. It sets out to do exactly what it was meant to. There you go. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know exactly what to do and I will see you in the next one. See you later guys. Bye bye. It records 1080p, 60 FPS and it the Ripsaw HD, however, does exactly what it's set up to do. You can basically record 1080p, 60 FPS and you can relay that through your sort of favorite. Um, yeah, fuck's sake. The Ripsaw HD sets out it to do exactly what it does. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you can also use it as a recording device and capture that footage to... <laughs> Let me know, do you... Tw